Hey all, I am back with another fun project today. Here we are in Fusion 360 and here's the part that I did the design that I'm going to mill tonight. Um, you may have seen this before, but circle diamond square, right? So I've got a 50 millimeter square with a diamond on top of that and a, cir a circle, a boss and a bore on top of that. So with this, I can uh, see how, well, number one, see how accurate the machine is. Uh, and I'm just using uh, computer. I'm not actually milling with wear. Uh, but I did. I am. I did update all of my tool offsets, so it should be pretty a as accurate as as uh, it can be. Okay. So the idea was to leave this in the vise after it's milled, and then come up here into uh, into your inspection tab, and I've got two options. I can probe geometry and probe surface. So probe geometry. Um, it's probing during machining. All right, so, but unfortunately, if I hit that, I have to either start a seven day extension or, or pay for the, uh, pay for the extension. All right, let's make some chips. And then uh, once I do some math, see how accurate the sile did. All right, cheers.
So I went ahead and took the time to, to measure this part uh, with uh, outside micrometers. I don't have a bore gauge. I'll do that next week. I, I just couldn't go to bed. It's getting late here, but I really wanted to know how accurate uh, the saw uh, milled this compared to the measurements that I established or set in Fusion 360. So I'm going to slide you over in front of the screen and I'll show you how well the saw did. But the saw did a great job milling this part. Now, disclaimer, this this is only, I mean, this is good for me, right? This isn't anyone's style but my own. Uh, it's no one's toolpaths but my own. I use Fusion 360 to uh, program the toolpath to get this. Um, and as you'll see, f for example, with the bore, I, I, I could probably do a better job with toolpathing. And they're my tools, all right? I used a mostly an, an outside micrometer, a 1 to 2 and a, and a uh, sorry, a 0 to 1 and a 1 to 2 or a 0 to 25, um, 25 to 50 if I had metric. I don't have metric, um, so again, I had to con I had to do these in an in inch and then convert them and so some of these, some of the these uh, decimals seem a little pre preposterous, um, but you know, it, it's going to give me an idea of, of how accurate my setup was and my toolpaths were uh, for this for this particular job. And I do have a metrology lab on campus. I may have mentioned it in this video or another, uh, where we have CMM machines. I can, in fact, I'm, I want to actually test this material to see how hard it is as well. Um, all of the toolpaths I do in Fusion 360 are based on hardness Brunel, so I'd It'd be nice to know what I'm I'm working with. All right. That be as it may, let's get into uh, what it is. So let's start with the boss. We've got well, we've got three different measurements. We've got a bore and a boss, the diamond and the square. And uh, you can see the the hole. The bore is supposed to be ten millimeters. The boss twenty. So the the boss uh, using my micrometer came out right on the spot. Now, if you really do the math, you get some crazy old, uh, <laughs> you know, millionth, 10 millionth place decimals, but it's practically spot on 20 millimeters as far as I can say with my tool. So great job, thank you, Sile. Uh, the bore was horrible. Um, looks like it's about 0.2 millimeters undersize uh, at the 12 and six here and here and it was about 0.14 millimeters undersize at the nine and three here and here. Now I don't have a bore gauge. I was just using 
dial calipers to do that and that's the most inaccurate way so it might not be that bad uh, but uh, it's out of all of the measurements that's the one that uh, seems to be the worst okay so let's move on to the diamond that's 35.355 millimeters diamond it's just um, a hypotenuse you know of this square so I didn't pick that number that's just how it turned out uh, not bad it looks like nine microns and seven so I measure top left here top right here and then so on and so forth and then I measured the centers so the worst measurements were top left and top right about nine microns or 0 0.009 millimeters 0 0.007 millimeters pretty good uh, in inches, if you're still in Imperial, those are tenths of an inch, so not bad. Uh, now moving on to the square, which is a 50 millimeter square, almost two inches. Uh, it did very good, it did very well. 0 0.003, 0 0.002. Um, I don't know if this is a fluke or not, but when I measured the the left side, this side here, I kept when I and I kept coming up with this measurement. This was the biggest measurement, 0 0.008. I did it over and over again. I checked for burrs, um, but it is what it is. Those are the numbers. So this is a combination of, you know, this is <laughs> my rookiness and, and newness fighting with the repeatability and the accuracy of the style. And I think altogether it turned out. Pretty darn good. Once again, I hope to get some better measurements with some with some better tools. And if I shoot, if I find out anything uh, worth filming, I will uh, I'll put it in a video and post it. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.